Uh, we've been loving hearing his voice on SABC Sports as he makes the shift into the brave new world of commentating. Uh, wishing him a very happy new year, Herschel. Sweet, brother. Welcome back to the show, my dude. Welcome back yourself. Huh? Yeah, man. Can you believe a new year has started? How was the summer for you? How was the, the leap into, into being on that side of the, the broadcasting world, man? Been throwing into the deep end. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't say I took it, uh, you know, like a duck to water, but... Um, Completely different, obviously, calling the game compared to playing it. But um, yeah, we'll get there in the end. You know, everything comes with time. But uh, yeah, I've got a good team and uh, experienced team, so they get, uh, you know they're helping me through it. It does help, of course, when the home side are performing like they've been performing this summer. Yeah. On balance, we have to say a very successful end to the year. Proteus juggernaut, yeah. continue just to keep on rolling, um, showing why they are the number one team in the world as far as the tests are concerned and. Uh, I think the, the big challenge is obviously going to be now with the Australia having won, retain the Ashes again. <laughs> so it's going to be a good uh, February and March, so plenty, plenty good cricket still to come. What do you make of comments like uh, those from Michael Clark saying they've got the best bowling attack in the world? Do you think anyone can come close, let's set the Ashes aside, can come close to the pace yeah. attack that South Africa have at the moment? Well, I think... Um, and obviously, they've turned the whole the whole campaign around. Well, um, I think Darren Lehman, you know, the Aussie yeah. coach, has, has done wonders. You know, I think he's a, he's a very cool and, and calm sort of coach. But uh, he's, he's got the team together. You know, there's, it looks like there's a lot of gears in that team at the moment. And um, I think, with, obviously, with Michael Clark as, you know, growing, you know, season by season as captain, I think they've developed into a really close-knit unit now. And they've turned that whole, you know, the whole campaign around. But I think, with regards to the bowling attack, I still think uh, <laughs> Vernon, Dale, Mornay can't get better. And they day. seem to be getting better and better um, with each test match that they play together. Dale Stain, especially. Well, he's been the number one, you know, the number one test bowler in the world for a couple of years now. And um, you know, Vernon has now just uh, pipped him to the line as far as the rankings are concerned. But you know, he's, he's a world-class bowler. Um, it doesn't get much better, but. I think uh, Aussies are going to be in, you know, for something different. I think um, it's going to be a close, close test, um, you know, as far as the, the challenge is concerned. But I still think the priorities are, are good enough. Now, you look at the Ashes, a clean sweep for Australia. How much of that was dominance of Australia and how much was a complete capitulation by England? They seem to have no psychology behind the kind of cricket that they're playing at I the moment. I think England obviously went to Australia, you know, as favourites, you know, um, having beaten Australia quite convincingly in, in England. But... Um, I think um, it, Aussies, I mean, the Aussies at bowling attack came to the party. I think Mitchell Johnson come back from injury, you know, had everybody against him. It was the moustache. The, the, the tash. tash. <laughs> yeah, the tash. I think, that's I, I think the tash. I defined it. The yeah. old handlebars came to the party there. But, um, yeah, he's a fit, fit boy. You know, he's bowling with good cast, you know, good wheels. He's coming out quite nicely, swinging it again, you know. So he's, he's um, you know, he's given them an, an extra, you know, artillery as, as, as far as that is concerned. But, um, yeah, I think it wasn't too many high scores, you know, so yeah. um, I think it was, uh, it was a good contest, but England was just uh, outplayed com at all yeah. departments. O on and off the pitch. Well, um, I know yeah. you've got tons to say about Jacques Cullis making his exit, something that you would have had to have grappled with in your career as well. Mm. We're going to chat about that a little bit later. Sweet. And again, I have to wish you a happy new year, dude. Stick well, happy, around. Happy. We're going to go and refill your coffee cup, and then we're going to get into what has been one of the most successful careers, I think, in South African history, yeah? That has been. And um, happy birthday for later on in the year, too. You know? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>